Hi everyone. This is the Bing Arts Guide to Course Planning. It should help uh, align some of the information with what you've got from your counselors with what you need to do with the Bing Arts program. I'm going to go over where things are the same, what your counselors said and how they exactly match what you need to do as a Bing Arts student. And I'm going to go over where things are different and what you need to know about uh, certification and program expectations specific to the uh, Bing Arts Mini School program. So one of the things you can do to get started, of course, is to um, download the course planning guide and read over the Bing Arts section. And hopefully that'll help you uh, remember all the things I'm going to say in this video because I'm going to cover a lot of ground in a short period of time. So where are things the same? So the junior program first, you're going to choose eight courses beginning with the five academic classes and PE. Specific to Bing Arts, uh, English and Social Studies are your cohort class. We want you to be in those classes with everyone else in your grade. So, for English, make sure you choose English, Bing Arts, and Social Studies, Bing Arts, for grade 9 and grade 10. And then you'll sign up for Science, uh, PE, uh, your Language, and Math, and your counselors will advise what your choices are for those specific classes, and you can look again at the Course Planning Guide. For the senior program, the senior program, there's a lot of um, opportunity to choose your own path. Uh, your post-secondary goals are your post-secondary goals. Uh, they may not include art as an endpoint. I know you'll break my heart each year by going into something else than, uh, you know, an art school, but that's okay. We are going to set you up so you get where you need to get. But along the way, we want you to stay connected with the program. So our one expectation, of course, is that you're going to have a fine art focus and you're going to be in our Bing Arts English uh, classes. So the English classes are a little bit different in their configuration. In grade 11, you can choose from the English 11 uh, Bing Arts class, which is your regular Bing Arts class that you're in, or you can choose a more challenging class with the Literary Studies class at the grade 11 level. You can also take uh, English First Peoples in conjunction at the same time as an elective, or instead of those two English classes. And they all count towards Bing Arts certification and uh, enrollment. Same thing with the grade 12 program. Uh, you can take the English Studies 12 Bing Arts class, or you can take the more challenging class uh, with the opportunity to submit uh, a test to get first year university credit with the AP Prep class. And again, First Peoples can be taken instead of either of those, or in conjunction. Some great opportunities in the English department. Again, speak with your English teacher. They can help provide you some guidance as to what you have available to you at the senior level. So the second thing that keeps us connected and that you need to have is a fine art focus. So you're here for art, band, drama, choir, media, strings. Uh, you're here for those classes. We want you to sign up for your focus class. Uh, the Bing Arts Gang sign looks like that. Two classes each year. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about what those classes look like, starting with art. So for art, every student in uh, Bing Arts Visual Arts will be taking the Honors Art class in their grade year. So that means that uh, grade eight's going into grade nine, you're going to take Bing Arts Honors Art. You're also going to take Honors Art 10 when you get to grade 10. It becomes Studio Art 2D 11 Bing Arts Honors and Studio Art 2D 12 Bing Arts Honors when you get to your senior program. And then that's one class and you got your second class of your Bing Arts Gang sign. And those classes could be any of the ones that you see in the list above. So we've got animation, media, uh, art studio. Art studio is a great way of kind of having two art classes and really expanding on your uh, use of materials. So Art Year 4-5 is a senior portfolio class. Great class for senior kids to be in. Of course, we have ceramics, uh, graphic arts, annual production, art metal, uh, jewelry, photography, textiles. So lots to choose from if you're an art student here in terms of fulfilling your two classes a year. For band, choose the appropriate level of concert band. That's where you start. And if you're not sure what level you should be in, junior, intermediate, or senior win, talk to Dr. McLennan. He can help set you straight. Then in addition to the concert band class, you would take either symphony or jazz band at the appropriate level. Choir has the same kind of format. You're going to take the appropriate level of uh, concert choir 
junior, intermediate, or senior concert choir. And again, talk to Ms. Lan if you need some help with that. And then you're going to add, where appropriate, uh, chamber choir, contemporary music, treble voice ensemble. Uh, those are your courses that you can uh, take a look at. And there's a little bit of crossover where you could have, um, you know, another music class from another area. So you could also be in strings at the same time. But make sure that you've completed your choir or your band requirements first. You can see that there's an overlap between band and strings with symphony. So there's a lot of ways that we can kind of join each other in our other classes. But make sure with strings here, starting again, that you've talked to uh, Ms. Anderson about what class you should be in. And I think that she's been speaking with each of you as you've been uh, finishing up each quarter of, as to what class you're going to. And she's doing an audition process. So I think she's going to have that sorted out and you're going to know where you need to go. But junior, intermediate, or senior orchestra is the first class that you choose. Then in addition to that, honors orchestra, junior or senior, and or uh, symphony at a junior or senior level. So you could have at least two classes, but up to three classes uh, in one area. And that's common. So hopefully that makes sense for music. Moving from music, we're going to look at media arts and drama as a kind of a combined group. So starting off with media arts, you grade eight students, you're going to go into media arts nine advanced. Make sure you sign up for the advanced course in each of your years in media arts. For grade nine students, uh, or for grade eight students going into grade nine, uh, you're going to be in Media Arts Advance, but also Photography 9. This is a combined expectation that you're in both those classes as your electives. For Media Arts 10, you're going to be in Media Arts 10 Advanced, plus you get a choice. There's Directing and Script Development as one of your choices. You could also choose Drama 10, or you could choose Animation 10. It's unlikely you're going to be able to do more than that because you have a limited number of elective spaces. But if you wanted to and you had the space through whatever reason, you could add in more. But Media Arts 10 Advance plus one of those other classes. Okay, so you have two classes in Media Arts each year. Two. Same as Drama. For Drama 9, uh, you're going to be in Drama 9 and you're going to be in Drama 9 Theatre Arts. Drama 9 is an open elective. Uh, theatre Arts has a bit more advanced uh, materials being presented. We want you in both those classes. At the grade 10 level, you're going to take Studio Performance 10. This is not Drama 10. You need to be in Studio Performance 10 as a Bing Arts student. Plus, you can choose to take Drama 10 in addition to that, or you can take the coaching class. I'm sure you've had uh, a, coach, uh, a coaching experience in your grade 9 or grade 8 class, so you know what the coaches are all about. But if you don't want to be a coach, if that's not what your calling is, you could join the production 10 or the production lab uh, course at the grade 10 level. And that's more about uh, setting up all the things that are needed to get a play up off the ground from uh, imagining what it could be to what the set would look like, uh, all of those things that go on behind the scenes. So it's, it's a different class than coaching. So you'd be in studio performance 10 and coaching or studio performance 10 and theater production 10 or Studio Performance 10 and Drama 10, or you could even be in Media Arts. If your plan is to move towards the drama, film, and television stream of things, maybe Media Arts would be a great class to pick up at the grade 10 level. Those are your choices. And again, talk to uh, your drama teachers to get more info. So the students move into grade 11 and 12. Uh, you have the opportunity to audition for a theater company. Theatre Company, of course, is our double block of, uh, of theatre. Uh, staged theatre, it's where we put on our big performances in the fall and in the spring. And um, this will teach you all aspects of putting on a production. It's a double block, two blocks in grade 11, two blocks in grade 12. There's your Bing Arts gang sign, works quite well. If being on stage isn't your thing, and you'd rather be in front of or behind a camera, uh, we have the drama, media, film, and television focus. You would take as your focus class the drama, film, actors, process uh, course. And in addition to that, you would take film studies or media arts or theater production as your second elective to get your two. And then in grade 12, you take those same classes again or a different combination, but you would have your four classes The neat thing about it is if you're in theater company and you want to take one of these electives and you have space, you can. If you're in one of these uh, classes and you want to uh, take more uh, electives in, uh, 
in uh, media, you can. So there's a little bit of crossover there. They're not uh, necessarily separate. If you have enough space, you can take these courses. But that's the focus. If you want to be doing the drama, media, film, and television focus, it's Film Actors Process, plus one other elective each year. And lastly, if you want to be simply behind the, uh, uh, behind the computer, kind of setting things up, uh, filming, all of those processes, uh, there's the media arts uh, video animation section where it's a bit more focused on uh, media design with animation, with media arts, with the advanced class, potentially uh, film studies to give you a little bit of context to the films that you're making. Again, talk to uh, Mr. Booker, talk to Mr. Howes about direction in those three areas. Lastly, literary arts. Um, perhaps uh, this has been a passion. Uh, you've enjoyed English all the way through. Remember that in addition to your strings uh, focus or your visual arts focus, you can take a uh, literary arts focus as well. You could get a double honors by the end of uh, the whole program uh, if you take enough of the courses uh, in each of the areas. English looks the following way. Uh, you would take four of the following to get a major or an honor, or three of the following to get a minor. English, literary studies, that's an advanced English class. English 12, AP prep, that's the advanced grade 12 class. Brit Lit is an elective. Creative writing is an elective. And of course, you have First Peoples 12 as one of the other courses you could take, either as an elective in conjunction with the English classes or in place of those English classes. Talk to Ms. Richard Young or Ms. Hughes, Ms. Rusko, they can help you out. And Mr. Harris, sorry. So lastly, Bing Arts Gang Sign, what does it mean? Two classes in grade 11? Oh no, two classes in grade 12 uh, in your focus area. So theater company or honors art, honors art, uh, elective, elective in art. That's how we put it together. We're going to look at your average of over those four classes in grade 11 and 12. And if your average is 86% or higher and none of your marks in those four classes have fallen below 80%, we give an honor certificate, the highest level of certification we give in any one of our areas. Second certificate that we'll give out, at anyone who's at 80% or higher in their fine art focus area, uh, will get a major certificate. And then lastly, three classes in their fine art focus area of 80% or higher as an average is a minor. Some of you know that we have an interdisciplinary uh, honors or an interdisciplinary major. They're a little bit more complicated. You must come and see me uh, to talk to me about what your plans are if you want to do an interdisciplinary uh, certificate, and I need to sign off on it. So don't leave that to chance. Make sure you come and see me, book an appointment. We can do it online, but you need to have me check off that the interdisciplinary plan that you have is one that's going to be certified. So hopefully all that makes sense. Uh, do your research. Do it early. Uh, it'll be helpful to download the guide. It's really helpful to talk to your teachers, uh, speak with your parents, talk to your friends, but do your research. I can be reached at the email that I've got posted on the, uh, on the screen, and I want you to make a plan. I want you to do it early. Best of luck. Looking forward to uh, recognizing you at the end of all of this. Good work, everyone. Take care.